Anthony DeComo. Uh, what is Brandon Nimmo's ceiling? Floor is yours. Look, there's a reason why the OBP watch is going on, because he can lead the league in OBP, and it wouldn't remotely surprise me. But what's interesting to me about Brandon Nimmo, you ask about his ceiling, and I think the fact that he is such a good plate discipline guy, he is such a high OBP guy, masks the fact that he's also a really good hitter. And people don't give him credit for being a good hitter. And you're seeing it this season, expected batting average. That's a stat from... Statcast that basically measures how hard you put the ball in play, what the launch angle is, and what your batting average should be based on that. He's improved that every year since 2019. Now, is it going to be 329 the whole year this year? Maybe not. But this is a guy who continually hits the ball hard. He's 70% in the league right now in max exit velocity, which the stat people will tell you is very, very predictive for what a guy can do in the future. So, yes, I like Brandon Nimmo a ton, and obviously it's because of the plate discipline, but it's also because he can hit he can hit for power, and he doesn't get enough credit for that. His two full seasons that he's had, two full healthy seasons, 2018, he finished 7th in offensive war. 2020, he finished 17th in offensive war. So what's his ceiling? Doug, I think over a full season, you're looking at a guy who could get down ballot MVP votes, who when all is said and done, could be top 10, top 15 in the National League as an offensive player. And I don't think he gets enough credit for that right now. Mm. Uh, you're absolutely right. But when I think of what, what a guy's ceiling is, I know that he's very good offensively. I think more about what else he can do. And you can talk about the base running and the fact that he doesn't steal a lot of bases, and I feel like he can steal more. He's a very athletic guy. I think this is a guy who could be a, you know, a perennial all-star type player who could really do things as far as, you know, all around the game, you know, defensively, running the bases, like I said, making smart plays out there, and then obviously being uh, the offensive juggernaut that he's shown to be.